Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man, Primetime, and you already know, you're on Primetime Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video, and you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. Oh man, let's get on into this, man. Did y'all see the Kamar Usman press conference? Oh man, I'm telling you, he on another level, for real, you know? Extremely like, he even said it, <laughs> matter of fact, he even said it, that, you know, he just on another level, like, you know? And he, he spoke about how he, um, you know, fought off of motion the first fight. He said that, you know, he just had a lot of anger and frustration built up, you know, leading up to that fight. So he didn't think all, you know, 100% on the game plan. He just wanted to hurt the guy. And then he ended up breaking his jaw, you know. Uh, he spoke about that. He was like, you know, he knew that he broke his jaw because he hit him dead in the jaw. And he complained to the ref it was an eye poke. But what it was, his jaw broke. And he was just trying to... <laughs> God. Man, can you imagine? But I'm going to tell you, though, for real, for real, primetime going to get to you like this. Kobe Covington, he a G for fight with a broke jaw. The rest of that fight, like you did, God, dude. Woo! Can you imagine you fighting somebody and they break your jaw and you still gotta keep fighting for your life? Man, that is crazy, man. I give him he has corners, man. You know, big corners. So anyway, wow. Mm. Another thing that. Kamal Usman also said in the interview, he broke down that he's more seasoned now with all the other wins that he racked up after that. He said that he could see the difference and the growth in himself. And he said just right now, he's at a whole nother level than Kobe Covington. And he said he's going to show that. He said he, he said he already know his game plan. He said his game plan is, is to wrestle me first. Try and wrestle me against the fence and you know, maybe try and do some takedowns. But he he said, <laughs> come on, Usman the champ said, he gonna find out real early that I'm better than him in the wrestling as well. So, you know, it is it's crazy. I, I look extremely forward to this matchup again, this rematch. You know, um UFC 268. It's a stat card. It's crazy. It's crazy. It really is. It's a stat card. <laughs> you know. Um, but it is what it is. You know. Uh, UFC know how to, to match um, their fighters extremely well. And they know who to put against who to build up the fight. And this right here is definitely one of the most anticipated rematches I think that everybody want to see especially all of Kobe Covington fans um, they all want to see him get a win over this guy so but um, I don't I don't see it happening man I see um, exactly what Kamar Usman said he said that he's going to put on a masterful fight you know a masterful plan on this guy you know and hey, I can only expect nothing but what the champ said, you know, to happen is for him. He said he want to beat him more flawlessly this time instead of last time he said he got hit a lot. So, wow, wow, wow. That is some superior big talk from the champ. And you know, like we know, if you know. Kamal, the nightmare Usman, he bring it to everybody, for real for real, the boy like uh, <laughs> a nightmare in the ring in the octagon 
You know, he on top of you nonstop. And either you gonna knock him out or he gonna knock you out. So, anyway, with that being said, this is video. Definitely hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV and I'm on social media everywhere. And definitely check me out on the website. Woo, we cooking over there. We got some new merch. All right, y'all. Peace.